All right, guys, so we're going on to the last Robot Master, Heat Man. So this guy is going to be the fire stage of the game. And Heat Man is shaped like a match lighter. So basically, he's a match lighter robot, but gigantic. <laughs> this is Heat Man's stage. And to be honest, guys, I'm just saying right now, I do not like Heat Man's theme. This is the only one of two soundtracks in the game that I don't like. The rest of the soundtracks in this game, I freaking love. He Man's theme, I don't, I'm, I'm not fond of it particularly. I think they messed up on his. In fact, I think Fireman's theme from Mega Man 1 is much better than this, to be honest. But whatever, I digress. Let's just proceed on. Go on with the OP me Metal Blades. And you got a lot of these freaking weird, you got the tellies and you got the freaking, uh, Jumping ass pogo stick freaking assholes from me, um, uh, from uh, Craftsman stage. So watch out for those guys. Oh, and also Heat Man, he also gives you item one. So because I mean we haven't gotten item one yet. It's kind of obvious at this point which robot master gives you item one because we haven't you know gotten it yet. But yeah, Heat Man gives you item one and. Uh, his weapon, which I'm also barely ever going to use, but I'll explain what that weapon does once we get to the select screen for that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to get item one, go ahead and go for Heat Man, but to be honest, you can still use, you can use the freaking, uh, you know, the item two for all this shit and stuff like that. And item three, like, I'm going to use item three right here to skip by this platform section. Fuck you, disappearing and appearing platforms. Block things <laughs> but uh, yeah that's why I kind of barely ever go after He-Man. He-Man's usually the last boss in fact that I go after just for that reason because really I don't like you know any of the things that he gives you and his stage is kind of a pain it's all it's filled with the disappearing and appearing blocks and shit and there's constantly there's tellies spawning 24 7 all the time and it's just like what the fuck Oh, and here, I'm just going to show off what uh, Crash Man's weapon does here. You shoot at that. Unfortunately, I can't defend myself because I can't s switch weapons. But, yeah, it just makes a wall. Uh, well, not makes a wall. It destroys the wall. Any of those uh, type walls there. So, I'll show it again here. Destroys that shit right there. And I'm not going to do that here because that's kind of risky. So yeah, that's what Craftsman's weapon does to those walls. Watch out for that asshole. He always surprises me. The last man. And then here, oh my gosh, this is the hardest part of Heat Man's section. This is kind of why the I Can't Be Air Man song got its inspiration, I guess, in a way. And that he needs to get item two in order to beat this level. I'm not going to sing the song. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. You use item two here to basically bypass all this shit because at first it's like okay you can memorize the pattern of the blocks and maybe you can do it but then it starts happening over lava and then you got to memorize it via death you know you can't do it on your first time more than likely and i just say fuck that shit i'm just going to use item two skip all this because look there's lava there's freaking there's a one up there i do not get that that is a trick because then you'll die because you'll have no way to get back i guess but whatever yeah, just use item 2 at that part and it'll freaking freeze through that shit like nothing. And damn, these Sniper Joe guys are freaking wimps if you have the right weapon. And somehow they're blocking the quick boomerang shots from behind with their shield up in their front. <laughs> Perfect sense, but whatever. But alright, here we are, right? Heat Man Sage. And again, Heat Man Sage, I really don't like it, especially because of that section there. It's like, really? It kind of emphasizes more on the the disappearing and appearing blocks more than anything uh, more than uh you know fire unlike fireman stage which was an emphasis on the fireish effect again i think fireman stage is way better than heatman stage to be honest but whatever so anyway we're at heatman and heatman he's not too bad if you get him a certain pattern And he'll always shoot at you like that as soon as you get through the room, so be careful. And also another thing is that He-Man will freaking, uh, 
he'll freaking uh, come charging at you whenever you shoot at him so be careful but you can use that to your advantage you basically can shoot it at him as soon as he comes out of that state or whatever that flame dash state before he shoots at you and you can get him in a set pattern where he can't do shit So again, Heat Man is not that tough, but you can use Bubble le Lead or Lead or whatever the fuck you want to call it on him to make him a complete wimp. But, uh, yeah. I was freaking Heat Man stage, and really I don't like Heat Man stage and, and or his weapon too much. You get equipped with, uh, Atomic Fire. Okay. And basically what Atomic Fire does, I'll say that right now. I already kind of explained what Item 1 does. It's just a platform that you can make whenever you want. But, um, Atomic Fire... It's basically, it's the prototype to Mega Man's Charge Shot, which is in the later Mega Man games. And what it does is, is all you do is you hold the you hold the button, you'll start charging up, and then once you charge it all the way, it turns into a gigantic blast, which can sometimes instant kill enemies. But the thing is, is that once you charge it all the way at its max and you shoot it out, at that point, it's like you could have killed the enemy with another weapon, more than likely. And also, um, it'll take away ha about half or a third of the weapon energy so you can only shoot out the blast three more times before you're all out of it and it also it takes a while to charge it it takes longer than even the mega buster so really i never use it because it's not worth it but anyway i don't know you can disagree with me but I, again i i don't like atomic fire or bubble man's bubble lead or lead or whatever the fuck you want to call it i never even used it on in that stage at all because you can use quick boomerang. That's another thing. Those uh, weird spring things, they're weak to both the quick boomerang and to the bubble lead. And I just use the quick boomerang because that's way better than the bubble lead. But whatever. 